Radio 27 WNEW, Jimi Hendrix, Voodoo Child, Slight Return. Collective Soul, their latest uh, run from their dosage, dosage CD. And we're, we're all premiering that uh, album tonight at 11 o'clock right here on NEW if you want to hear what the rest of uh, Collective Soul's latest is all about. Wunderbar. What's up? It's Sophie and Anthony. Hello there. For your ride home. How are we today? I feel uh, like crap. What's, what's your problem? I don't know. I got a nasty headache. Oh, that's how it starts. What do you mean? The the flu thing. No, I don't say that. <laughs> I've avoided the the flu, but I'm getting I'm getting everything else. I think it's a stress headache. What are you stressing about? This place. Hello. <laughs> but it is getting better. Good. It really is starting to get uh, a lot better around here, so I don't know why I'm still getting these stress headaches, but uh, it might be because you made me laugh so hard last night. Well, that's a good thing. That monkey meat stuff and, oh. and the retard sex. and I caught some hell about that one. Uh, I think that's what it is. I don't think it's stress headaches. I think it's you making me laugh so hard that I'm popping like blood vessels in my brain. Well, good. Your misery will be uh, everybody else's pleasure. But I'm going to be fine. Because I popped uh, six aspirin. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. You got to take real aspirin, man. I can't take that Tylenol, ibuprofen, Advil, crapola. It's got to be extra strength Excedrin. Well, that's what you gave me, and so far it's not working. Come on. So I popped some Tylenol. Ah. Man. What? I'm, I'm telling you the truth. This stuff never works. I'm not going to sit here and fake it. Got to take the real deal. Hey, I got to bring up something really fast. Right. Did you see the Guinness Book of World Records last night? No. Ah, I tell you about it every week. You got to check it out. I'm usually, you know what it is? We get home uh, uh, relatively late mm -hmm. from here, and I eat dinner at that time. And I cannot watch that Guinness Book of World Records show while I'm eating dinner. Oh, that's it's disgusting. That's the best time to watch oh, it. Oh, please. This just goes with the whole thing. I'm eating spaghetti and they're talking about the record for eating worms or something, and I <laughs> can't deal with that. Well... We we saw the snap on face guy in the past. We thought that was pretty gross, right? Yeah, big guy. Guy had a divot taken out of his head. He had yeah. He, the whole front of his face is snap on, uh, where you could fit a softball right through the middle of his face, and yeah. he had snap on ears and stuff. You thought that was gross? Yes. You thought the lady with the three hundred pound tumor that they operated on was gross? <laughs> Where they, I just got the heebie-jeebies. Where they took the tumor away in a wheelbarrow after they removed it from her. And it had hair and teeth growing in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, last night they outdid themselves. They found a guy mm -hmm. who uh, is living with his heart beating outside his body. Stop it. <laughs> and, Stop it. And for some reason, this is a Guinness Book of World Record. Yeah, what kind of record is that? They've perverted that show into something, a freak show. They they have uh, made a new record. Uh, the, the guy living with a heart outside his body for the longest time. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> what it's kind a of Guinness is that? freak show. It, that's exactly what it is. When are they going to have pickled punks? Yeah, they, they should fess up and just call it the Guinness Book uh, Freak Show. Yeah, of course. Step right up, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, see the pickled punks. Yeah. You know that's coming next. But they uh, they had some great uh, footage of this guy. He was born with his heart outside his body. They showed the pictures. There's his heart with a, like a slight covering over it oh, outside his body. Oh. And what they said was when um, the, the mother gave birth, they just kind of put it uh, in the corner of, uh, uh, of the hospital room, just assuming it's going to die in a couple hours. Well, the damn thing continues to live. So they're like, wow, we better operate and try to do something. They couldn't get it back in his body because his uh, chest cavity was too small. Get out of here. So they decided the safest bet was to just leave it outside his body. So they kind of just put it under the skin, though. Because it wasn't even under the skin. Stop it. So now the kid, he lives in Philadelphia, and he's the mayor of South Philly. That's what he's called, the mayor of South Philly. And he's now 23 years old, and he's still living. <laughs> Dude... And, of course, uh, Guinness Book of World Records, they had to go the distance, so they're talking about the story and showing the old footage and stuff. Yeah. Now they got a picture of him as a 23-year-old kid in his apartment yeah. on the phone talking to his bud with his shirt off. No. With the heart just... Boom, 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 boom. Come on, you saw his heart? Oh, yeah, just bouncing right in front. Of, well, you didn't see the actual heart, but you see the skin just drastically moving forward. Oh, my God. So the the way he Disgusting. the way he lives because obviously you can't go around like that. Someone elbows you, you're gonna have you know, yeah, you'd be dead. So they got this special like breastplate he has to wear constantly, like D Lo Brown from the WWF. He has to wear chestplate. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Same type of thing. And they show him playing basketball and stuff. It was, Come on, 
<laughs> it was just out there. Man. That's not a record. That's a freak show. Yeah, and then they got, you know, they have the graphics come down, and it's like, you know, a person living with a heart outside his body for the longest time. Stupid a new record. record. Stupid. What a great show, though. Uh, I can't watch it. And then they had the snake guy on last night. He set the record. He he uh, lays lies in a, a bathtub. Yeah. And they had thirty seven or thirty something rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes in there with him. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Ah, interesting. And the guy had no hair, so they made uh, like a rattlesnake hairpiece for him. Yeah. With one of the rattlesnakes, and and that set some type of record. And that set a record. Yeah. I thought again, most people weren't doing dangerous records anymore. That's what they said, right? Yeah, they don't do the buried alive record. They don't recognize that, mm -hmm. and they don't do the hold your breath underwater record anymore because mm -hmm. they're dangerous. But a bathtub full of rattlesnakes, rattlesnakes. is fine. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's been in the media in the the, the past uh, few years that uh, the Guinness Book of World Records have become PC. Yeah. Like if you get the latest edition of the, the book, you don't really get to see a, a lot of the freaks anymore. Yeah. You don't get to see the fat twins on the bike anymore, yeah. or, or you know. The midgets and the the fidgets are good. The fidgets and the real fat people and stuff. I like Chang and Wang. The Siamese <laughs> yeah. twins, Ying and Pang. Ying and Pang. Pork and pork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those guys connected by the chest. Yeah, yeah. The, that they they were the sickest people to ever live on this earth because yeah. they ended up getting married to separate women and having like twenty kids between them. What the hell did that bedroom look like? I don't know how you do that. I don't know. Either. Interesting. So there we go. <laughs> I thought I'd share. Guinness Book well, of thank you. World Records Freak Show on every what Tuesday night. I shan't be watching. Why? I the, gotta eat and tape it for later. The, the guy with the heart outside the body. That's right down your alley, no, Anthony. No, that, no, it isn't. I don't like disgusting stuff. You don't like to see stuff like that. No, that's why people always sending me that website, uh, uh, Rotten.com. Rotten.com. They go, hey, Anthony, you got to check this out. What makes people think I want to see people impaled on poles and with their heads chopped off and after traffic accidents splattered on the road? Well, they listen to our radio show and they assume it's right down your alley. That's all. No, no. Sex <laughs> is great. I will tune into that on the Internet and at the drop of a hat if you got a, a link to that mm -hmm. but the gross stuff what that does nothing for me it it disturbs me see that's weird it doesn't disturb me no i can't do that it gives me nightmares i enjoy checking it out some guy emailed me a picture and it was titled like hot babe mm -hmm. and I, I i click on it and it starts to download and i see the top of her head and it's like oh cool this is gonna be good it keeps going down down until it gets to her mouth mm -hmm. it turned out some kind of horrible accident where a piece of metal hit her right in the mouth and cut her jaw off <laughs> And, and I'm, I'm looking at this like, gee, thanks. Why would I want to see this? <laughs> it's disturbing. You guys, send it. No, come jokes. on. Don't. The JPEGs. I swear, I'm, I'm dumping every photo I get without even opening. <laughs> no way. Send the JPEGs I'm the GIF bastard. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to open anything. I'll send them. I'll forward them right to Opie. It's fine. I'll check them out. Good. Check them out, you sick I, I don't. I, I'm pretty desensitized at this point. Well, that's that's really healthy. That's a great healthy attitude to have. Well, the only the only thing in recent years that really got to me was when we talked to that lady that cleaned cleaned up the the crime scenes. That really got to me. That the, see that didn't bother me. Why? Because she was just talking about it. When I look at pictures of real people uh, mangled, yeah, but she was describing, describing you know some of the scenes she's she's cleaned up in the past. And Who cares? That's like a movie. That's oh, not real no way. You know, but when you see pictures of real people just hacked apart, I, that does it, it, it disturbs me. All right. Very nice. Send him to Opie, not to Anthony. <laughs> thank you. Also, real fast, want to thank Clinton for visiting our fine city yesterday. Yeah, well, in the paper he says he owes uh, New York a, a, a huge debt. Yeah, he loves it. He has an inexpressible gratitude to New Yorkers. So he expresses that by just clogging traffic up. Yeah. Last night while everybody's trying to get home, they closed the, the Grand Central. They closed the LIE. Bridges. You don't never know where he's going to be. They close roads. It was a nightmare last night. Yeah, horrible, horrible getting out of town. He clogged traffic like he he clogged Monica <laughs> last night. <laughs> Jesus, what? Well, okay, I, I guess so. Come on, <laughs> Don't make that analogy. Sure, yeah, well, you're right. That's a little rough, but <laughs> we can work on that. I guess. All right, all right. On the way, we got uh, another track from the Black Crows by your side CD. Great song from the Doors, and we're all set and ready to go here, gang. Fax line two one two nine five seven WNEW. Phone line is ready to go, and we got the instant feedback. Just go to the WNEW website. 
1027 WNEW, the Rock of New York. Pearl Jam live this time around from Live on Two Legs. That's daughter. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey. We're hanging. And uh, <laughs> got a great instant feedback here from Brian from Midtown. You know what's funny about this show? We'll hit on some stuff, and then you go home and you watch the news. Yeah. And, and you just die laughing. We were already getting a bunch of people calling that they couldn't watch the story about the groundhog that died in Canada because we goofed on that yesterday. So when the story came on the news last night as a serious story, people lost it. <laughs> Did you see the picture on the paper? Yeah, he's in his oh. little cute coffin. Yeah, himself. they put the groundhog in a coffin, <clears throat> and he's got his little groundhog hands all perched up on his chest, and he's just laying over the big buck groundhog teeth. <laughs> he's laying in a pine coffin. And the uh, people are around him all morning and everything. It's yeah. feeling bad. And I almost spit up my dinner last night and watching the news. And then they, they had the monkey meat story. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw that one last night, too. No, it's supposed to be a serious story about how AIDS started from people eating monkey meat. Monkey meat. But after the whole Charlton Heston last few days, I, I, I can't watch the story. It's just too funny. Too freaking funny. <laughs> and with that in mind, Brian from Midtown writes, uh, Anthony and Opie, yesterday the subject was retard sex in your show. <laughs> well, this is no joke, but there are retarded people that get on my bus in Queens every day. This morning, two of them were making out in the back of the bus. I swear to God. It was like a car crash when you really, really, really don't want to look, but you're compelled to look for some reason. The worst part was that right as they stopped and were about to get off the bus, the guy said to the girl, your mouth tastes funny. <laughs> I accidentally busted out laughing because all I could think of was Anthony and Corky Steinbrenner's voice saying, and it tastes like a corn dog. <laughs> So now there is a busload of people who know that I'll be in hell. Anyway, this is all tr true, so help me God, Brian in Midtown. <laughs> God, that's funny. Hey, Dave, it's like a con dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just do the your mouth is funny, please. Your mouth is funny. <laughs> ah. Man, I was just catching hell yesterday. Emails and letters. How could you use the word retard and retard sex? I don't know. That movie clip for uh, The Other Sister? Mm -hmm. That movie that's coming out with Julia Lewis where she plays the retard? Right. And she hooks up with a guy, retard, and, and you know, it's retard sex. They're going through the pages of, of the joy of sex. And I don't know. I, I find that a little standoffish. And, and someone uh, sent us a fax and said, are you guys getting uh, money for promoting that new movie? <laughs> Yeah, like the only reason anyone's going to see it now is because they want to, like, goof on Juliet Lewis and well, this guy having sex. Well, who in their right mind is going to see that trailer and not think about retard sex? <laughs> retard sex. <laughs> Which, by the way, we don't have officially a definition for. No, it's we, just... We asked you guys yesterday, what is the definition of retard sex? It doesn't necessarily have to do with disabled people. <laughs> and so far, we don't have the official definition for retard sex. So that's how you could play along at home today, if you like. <laughs> you could send a fax or an instant feedback on that. Yeah. Annie from North Ar Arlington writes, uh, The definition of retard sex, having sex with my husband. <laughs> 1027 WNEW, the Rock of New York, the boss from Tracks with Seven Angels. It's Opie and Anthony just getting warmed up here, but uh, the show is coming together quite nicely. Oh, yes. Keep the email and the faxes and the phone calls are coming. We love... Your participation on the show. Uh, Todd from Jersey writes, <laughs> Oppenak, can you please replay the girl giving a road hummer from yesterday's show? You Go. guys rule. Keep rocking. I think that bit might have made it into the <laughs> never-to-be-played-again <laughs> category. The forbidden file. The forbidden file. Yes. You know what we should do? We should make a website mm -hmm. with all our forbidden bits that you only get to hear once. And then we get in big trouble for them. Yes. And we can't play them again. Put them on the website. Oh, I like that. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Maybe someone could start that, that bootlegs our show. Because <laughs> I think if it came from us, we'd get in trouble for that as well. Well, there's a little controversy about the, that bit yesterday. I think the people upstairs in management are a little uneasy about uh, that bit yesterday, Anthony. Now, why is that? Well, um, I don't know. We had a, a lovely couple in mm -hmm. the car yesterday on the ride home on Route 78. This and Tuesday uh, Night Hummer Club. And, yeah, they thought it was a perfect opportunity to um, join the club. Right. Hmm. 
And we can't conf confirm that the lady was actually getting the D done. Right. Sounded like her mouth was full, but <laughs> who are we to judge? Exactly. <laughs> I thought it was harmless. It was some fun radio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <man. laughs> I could hear in the guy's voice, too. He started getting very breathy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sure. And then he said he was swerving all over the road. I wonder if that couple made it home safely. If they're listening, I think they need to give us a call today. Yeah, let them know. Let us know how they did. Yeah. But I'm not sure if that bit has officially made the forbidden file yet. We might be able to sneak one more play out of it before we have to trash it. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. It could go either way. Hmm. No one has told us officially that we're not allowed to play it. Right. I mean, if I just, like, happen to push play here... And it played? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I can do that. You can? I think I could do that, eh? Because <laughs> now I'm thinking we better get this on the air before they tell us not to play it again. <laughs> True. That's Because now that we brought it up on the radio, I'm sure they're running running from down, you know, upstairs to tell us no. Right. So you want to play one more time? Yeah, let's hear if it's... You, you listen at home, too, if it you think it's the actual article. If it's really happening. Yeah. Yeah, give us your feedback on this, if this offends you or if mm. this is the type of thing you like to hear on the radio from time to time. We'll preface it like that. I just want to know if it's real or not. Really? Yeah. All right, let's take a listen. N.E.W., what's up? Hey, I wanted to know if I can get on the air because if I did, I told my husband I'd give him a Hummer for Hummer Tuesday. We're driving home from work. <laughs> You're on the air. I'm on the air? Yes. Well, then, I guess I got to go to work. Now, what road are you guys on? Route 78. No kidding. <laughs> now, who's driving? He is. Uh-oh, that's oh, dangerous. No. <laughs> if you're on Route 78, watch out, guys. Yes, sir. Thanks, guys. We'll wait, be wait, 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 wait. Ah. Give, give him the phone. Hold on. We'll see how far we can go with this. Which one of the wackos do I have? Uh, both, both of us. us. I love you guys. Thanks. Right. I'm a big fan of you guys. Are you uh, officially a member of the club, or are you going to become a member? I'm going to be real soon. Yeah? Like, like she's going to do uh, it, she's going to do it on the road? She swears. I said, you are, every Tuesday I come home, I'm like, it's Hummer Tuesday, Hummer Tuesday. And I've been beating on her, so we're commuting home tonight. I'm like, you owe me one. It's Hummer Tuesday. Well, what do you say you at least get things started right now? That works for me. All, All right, right. Let, let her rip. Got to get started, honey. All right, just uh, uh, describe what she's doing carefully. Right now, I'm zipping my drawers. All right, and, and how fast are you going? <laughs> right now, I'm all over the road. <laughs> how fast am I going? Are you kidding me? All right. First, I got a couple of cars in front of me. I'm going to probably start smashing into them. Well, be careful. Be careful. How the hell with it? It's worth it. All right, now, what uh, what's going on now? Well, we're starting. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wish you guys were here. Nah, that's what I'm saying. Actually, I wish, what, what's that doctor's name? Dr. Corn? Yeah. She's a pisser. Yeah, she really is. We're going to have her back on the show. So what you got to do is see if I can get a chapter in her book. So what do you think of the impeachment hearings? Uh? <laughs> yeah, well, so, yeah. Actually, I'm counting sheep right now. I want to make sure I, make sure I last a little longer, you know? <laughs> Oh, my God. All right, put the phone down there. I got to talk to her real fast. Okay, hold on one sec. I'm a little busy. <laughs> <laughs> I got... I'm just, just starting. All right, well, we'll let you love birds go, man. Thanks. All right. See ya. All right. Wow. If anyone else is on Route 78, look out. There's a car that's swerving all over the damn road. <laughs> Well, well, I would say, um, <laughs> real. You think that was real? I, I, I don't know. Oh, here comes management. They're walking down the hall. I'd like to think. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, but they're not, they're not coming in. Figures. <laughs> Thanks, Todd from Jersey. You guys in trouble. They're waiting for us to turn the mics off. Oh, wait. I just punched up the uh, Victoria's Secret fashion show. You did? It's online right now, they say. Well, the pregame is on. Why? What? It's supposed to be what? Oh, you, seven? Yeah, the the fashion show starts at seven, but they got all sorts of um, pregame stuff going on. Yeah, but it, it's it's real audio, a real player. You know, it's what am I looking at? It's all QB. Well, it's gonna be cool. I, you know, 
they got to figure this stuff out. At 7 o'clock, they're going to have a fashion show live on uh, the Internet. I yeah, think it would be good enough to check out and go, wow, that's kind of neat. Internet video isn't quite like the Jetsons yet, you know? Mm -hmm. Where Mr. Slate or, or, or Mr. Uh, Spacely would, would be on the big screen going, You're fired, Jetson! You know, he's clear as a bell. He wasn't all cubed out, right? True. We're you, supposed to be at that point. You didn't have to wait for buffering and stuff. No. When he was firing Jetson, it was immediate. Well, he must have had a cable modem, Anthony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that looks like patch. <laughs> hi, N.E.W. Any, hi, what's up? Nah, that was real, man. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, unless she had a pair of marbles uh, in, her, in her mouth <laughs> at the time. <laughs> I mean, the, acoust the acoustics, uh, the, the rapid breathing. Yeah, the What's tone. What's the sound on the guy? Uh, yeah, I know. That's, That's what we're thinking. He's a hero to us all. That's, uh, <laughs> He's a hero to us all. <laughs> That's pretty much uh, illegal radio right there. No. And it's probably about 100 uh, husbands wishing uh, they were married to that particular female. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> and she's a Joan of Arc of uh, the Oval Office. <laughs> well, cool. Yeah. yeah, I love the show, man. You guys crack me up. Hey, thanks a lot. All right, dude. Bye. Well, there's a, a vote for it's real. Hi, NEW. Hi, yeah, I'm sorry I missed the uh, show yesterday. Glad you re ran it. And my vote is that's the quality programming I've come to expect from your show. Oh, there thank you go. You. Thank you. Now, how, how old are you? Uh, 35. Right on. All right, thanks. So I'm in the perfect demographic. So, you know, that's the kind of audience you want to hit. Well, you want to you want to hear something like that every once in a while, something just out there, right? Oh, yeah, my favorite pet you guys have is Cleet Motors. Yeah, we love Cleet Motors. Oh, man, every time I come <laughs> home, it's like, when I heard Cleet Motors, come on, let's go. I know. The problem is we've played that bit so many times, I don't know if uh, we can play it today, but we'll play yeah. it in the future. Good, good, good. Keep that in your repertoire. All right, man. Thank hey, you. thanks. Keep going, keep going. Thanks, guy. <laughs> keep going. Hi, N.E.W. Yeah? Yeah, what's up? She didn't do it. How do you no? Know? no, she wasn't doing it. And if she was, she wasn't doing it right, because he wouldn't have been talking if I was doing it. Oh, <laughs> hey, there you go. He would have never been All able right. to talk. Well, it's just begun, though. No, baloney, so what? All right, you sound like a passenger side hose bag. No, <laughs> no because there's no way she can do it. Listen, I told, I called you guys a few times. My friend Tony Romano drives home every night from work, takes him an hour. Uh -huh. I told him I'd make him a member of the Hummer Club any night that he wants. And, oh, and he, but he's married to someone else yes, or something but he, like that. He doesn't, he doesn't get it. And and you would do it for I him. I told him driving home, but he wouldn't be able to drive. He'd be, he'd have to pull over. Oh, really. Yes, there's right. no way. He wouldn't be laughing and talking, oh, the president, blah, blah, blah. No, sorry, no. Okay. Well, no. And no who's way. in the background? All the people you work with? No, I'm not at work. I'm home. Is that kids? No, I'm listening to your, your show. Oh, that's what I'm hearing in the background, <laughs> bouncing back. Okay. <laughs> Are you officially a member of the Tuesday Night Hummer Club? I certainly am. Look at that. Girl that's very <laughs> sure of herself. I like that. And how old are you? I'm 30. Right on. That's what we want to hear. Of course. Yes. yes. All and right. I listen to you guys all the time. You're great. Thank you. And uh, please mention something to Tony Romano. He gets off of work in 10 minutes. Well, you already have. You already have. Dear. Anybody, when are you going to play it? It's You are live on the radio. Oh, well, he's not in his car yet. Well, someone will tell Tony that you're on the radio and right, I'm gonna call him. confessing your love for his <laughs> schween. <laughs> All right? Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Wonderful. Hi, NEW. That was a superb encore performance. You like that, huh? I liked it a lot. I was wondering, maybe, is, is there any, like, Tuesday at Hummer Club, like, theme song that Stephen Lynch could make up for the club? You know, we haven't asked him for one, but I'm sure he would He would uh, gladly make a song for us. I would love to see, like, I would love to hear, like, like you know, uh, the whole Scott Muni two Beatles songs. Open your show, two Stephen Lynch songs. Yeah, he's becoming huge. We're making him a, a rock and roll star, I think. Yeah. It, it was excellent. Excellent, my friends. It was very good. Matter of fact, before the hour's up, I, I think we could sneak a Stephen Lynch song in. P please kill, please kill a kitten. Uh, no, nah, that one's overplayed. I think yeah. we're gonna do the lullaby, the lullaby song. All right, cool. All right. All right, man. Take it easy. Thanks, man. Bye. Yeah, and we are encouraging all the bands out there to send in their um, Tuesday Night Hummer Club theme songs. Oh, this fashion show's getting good, man. Really? <laughs> yeah. What are they showing? Lingerie. I'm seeing Patch. I'm seeing yeah, no, Nip. No. Wait, wait. <laughs> this is great, Hold man. Come on. I got my laptop over here. Come on. What's the... What's the um... God, it's Victoria. Look at that. Wow. Look, Rick. Wow. Oh, is she hot? <laughs> it's victoriasecret.com. Victoria's with an Victoria's S. Secret uh, hold, yeah, on, hold on, hold on. One more. Man. Uh, now everyone else is jumping on, and now I'm not going to get through. Probably, but... Uh, uh, wow. Uh,
They're doing like uh, quick clips of, uh, of these girls just uh, in their little negligees. Come on, come on, come on, Look at that one, right? Transferring data. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, just lop her head off. She's ugly. You're a mess. Come on. What's the matter? Dude, you don't even know if you have real player plus loaded in on that laptop. I'll find out in a that second. you're bragging about. It's, I'm not bragging about. Opie, this. it's so cute. He's got a little. Oh, look at that with this. No, stocking. I got a real laptop over. Yeah, he's got now. a laptop, but you don't know what's loaded on it. You didn't load anything. Have some pride, man. <laughs> Hook up your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Update to the the uh, newest possible software. All right. What do you got on there? Pong for Windows. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I got a T1, and I I don't know if I have real player. I'll figure it out. In a second here it's taking forever to load look it. at you oh this stinks that's good he's he's Cause everyone flying else... at 50 megahertz oh, with his... shut up <laughs> you ass <laughs> all right well we got oh my god <laughs> we gotta take a break here yeah you you see if you can hook up uh with that opie why does it say document done I don't know. Is, has oh, the, right here. Right. Has the bird chiseled the picture yet uh, like in the Flintstones? <laughs> you're such an ass Hey, hey, Vaughn, look at his picture. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Um, all right. We're over here looking at, like, girls in lingerie, and Opie's looking at error messages <laughs> pinging up on his screen. Bing, bing. <laughs> Damn it. It's not <laughs> happening. All right. Oh, wait, I do got real player. Yeah, but what version? Um, doesn't say. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Unable to locate server. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at you. I'm screwed. Well, everyone else have fun at Victoria's. We'll help you out. Um, All right, Anthony, the Vermont Teddy Bear Company. Valentine's Day coming up. Yes. You better be ready, guys. What are you going to do? Last minute, get that uh, bouquet of roses or something uh, like you did last year? Or the chocolate, you know. The you girls do... look at that. They see uh, unoriginality. They see that you don't care. Well, not necessarily. Necessarily. Yes, they do. Girls don't want to see that year after year after year. It's something different, something new, something they'll love for Mont Teddy Bear. All right, and we only got 11 days left, so I think it's time to get on the phone and take care of this. It only takes, they told us, what, five minutes? You call 1-800-829-BEAR. That's 1-800-829-BEAR. And within five minutes, you could take care of your, your whole Valentine's Day uh, nightmare. That's right. They have a bear counselor. You talk to them about what your girl likes. You know, what she's into, hobbies, maybe job. And uh, they could get a bear that, that fits her, her little life. Exactly. And it'll be very personal, mm -hmm. and, and she will love you for it. Mm -hmm. She'll look at you like, oh, my God, he, he actually thought this out this time. Yes. And it's so simple. You know what bear I got for my nephews this uh, Christmas? What? Little Jets bears. Did you? Now, I'm assuming they could do that for any you know NFL team. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a good angle as well, because uh, my sister and my brother, huge Jet fans, had kids recently, so I said, hey, man, this is a cool thing, you know, to give them. So right. it was a Vermont teddy bear dressed up as a jet. How about that? And they have hundreds of bears to choose from, like Anthony said. They got some really cool ones, too. They got the Love Bandit bear, the new one, which is uh, Teddy in a Teddy. That's that's a dirty bear. <laughs> yeah, it's in a little Teddy. The, cu uh, the Cupid bear and the Horny Little Devil bear. So give them a call. Definitely. If you've never given them a Vermont teddy bear, this could be uh, your year. Girls love this. Send it to them at work. I was going to say, a little hint, guys. Send oh. it to work. Because then they brag to all the, the people they work with. And you put just, it on their desk or in their like cubicle. You're a hero. You're a hero. Totally. So give Vermont Teddy Bear a call. It's 1-800-829-BEAR. That's 1-800-829-BEAR. Or if you're online right now, you can check out their website, www.vermontteddybear.com. So, Opie and Anthony, hey. usually we have another commercial there. So we could, do the, <laughs> so we could seg back into our... DJ style here. A little transition. Yes. All five. All right. We got. I think we got the <laughs> the story of the day next. Oh yeah, yeah. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW, Goo Goo Dolls, Slide from Dizzy Up the Girl and Zeppelin before that. Good afternoon. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey, man. Anthony a little distracted. He's checking out the Victoria's Secret dot uh, com website right now. Well, now I got it running uh, on top of uh, like inset my browser there, so I could. Go about my other business and take a little peek at it on the computer, and it's it's still right up there. Yeah. Uh, oh, someone called man. and said they're showing it on the jumbo uh, tron in Times Square. Is that true? Yeah, I guess they flashed it up there. Nice. Yeah. I want to I want to be on that someday. <laughs> I was doing something really stupid. It's got to be for the right thing. You don't want to be up there as you know. Yeah. Convicted felon. You think Opie. we could, You think we could tap into that? Hack in? Yeah. Has anyone ever hacked the jumbo tron? I don't know. Is that possible? 
God, that would be funny, that, wouldn't it? That'd be huge. Put some hardcore smut up there or something. Or just a really message from Opie and Anthony. Spin some heads. You know, saying hi to all the members of the Tuesday Night Hummer Club or something. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Something to look into. We could try. No felony. Well, Anthony, Cheese Man from Queens writes, this message is to Anthony. Oh, oh, oh. You got me into Half-Life, and now I'm in hot water with my wife. It goes with the territory. Also, the only time I can play is when she's in bed. And who could play at midnight when you got to get up at 6 for work? Later, Fragmaster. Yeah. That's Anthony's little uh, name when you're playing Half-Life multiplayer, right? Yes, of course. Ah, oh, this poor guy. I understand. You know, I, I, I got into Half-Life, and um, my, my marriage started to suffer. Uh, Jen got extremely upset. Now, at first, was she into it? Uh, yeah, you know, she was like, like look over, because the computer, she's got to turn her head a little to see me on it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, she was like, well, that's pretty interesting. Because you know. Sandy's still into the I'm into it phase. Really? With, with me in uh, Tomb Raider 3. Yeah, that'll go away. But I'm having a feeling that, yeah, that's going to change eventually. Mm, yeah, yeah. When, when you, you're you not spending a, a lot of time, you know, on the couch watching TV with them. They, they get upset. And uh, that's the way it went. I mean, for hours on end. I'd get home. What time do we usually uh, get home? 8.30, quarter to yeah. 9. 8.30, quarter to 9. And, uh... Yeah, you know, three in the morning, four in the morning. I'm I'm trotting up to bed, <laughs> and I had been on the computer the entire time. A couple of times, no problem. Yeah. But day after day after day, whoo, she got pissed, and uh, I had to just like a junkie, like an addict, pull myself away, cold turkey, and and try to do it just every other day. Mm -hmm. So now uh, there are certain days I go home. And I sit on the couch and watch TV with my wife. Now, how bad are you jonesing to turn on the computer as you sit there with your wife watching TV? Uh, Be well, honest. Well, I do get a little shaky sometimes. <laughs> okay. I look over at the computer, and it's right there. Yeah. It's, it's so close. Yes. It's like if you're a smoker, right? And you're smoking, and you try to quit. Mm -hmm. And the butts, the pack is right on the table. Mm -hmm. It's within arm's reach. What do you do? <laughs> what do, what you, do, do you do? <laughs> so I, I've tried, I, I, and I've been doing much better. Mm-hmm. I did have a, uh, what do they call that when you, you a relapse? Fall off the, a relapse. You had a little relapse. You fell off the <laughs> yeah. wagon. I fell off the wagon last week. Um, I I came home, and as Jen tells me, I, I screwed up the story yesterday. Um, I said that I had come, I come home, and she has candles lit all over the place. A fire in the fireplace. That's a sign. She's wearing her little PJs. That's a sign. She cooked a, a wonderful dinner for me, mm -hmm. and I went right to the computer. <laughs> She goes, you failed to mention you did this two nights in a row. You didn't catch the signal twice, two nights in a row? Uh, no, no, oh. Alfie. Oh. So the second night, she uh, oh. systematically blew out all the candles, mm -hmm. <laughs> looking at me in between each one. <laughs> and then uh, the next day, took all the candlesticks, because she is so into candles. The place looks like some kind of gothic castle, mm -hmm. and packed them all away. <laughs> She packed them like, you know something? I tried, but now, no candles ever, ever, ever. Wow. And she was fuming. Mm -hmm. So I, I definitely uh, had to apologize for that one. <laughs> and uh, then the candles came out. And I came home the other night, and the candles are lit again. And now you know. And what did I do? You knew what to do. Uh, I didn't even look at the computer. There you go. Not even a fleeting glance. There you go. Yeah. And you had some of that retard sex that you discussed. <laughs> yeah. Did you get in trouble for that, too, yesterday? I said that me and my wife had retard sex because we were just making grunts and drooling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your mom's listening to this, Anthony. Twice in the morning. <laughs> really? Pretty good, yeah. Wow. Like, like uh, you know, how, like how lions and tigers do it. Yeah, you go, rrr, 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 and it's done, and then you'd, like, roll over and just... <laughs> And then, like, ten minutes later, you're up again. Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> <laughs> That's retard sex. Okay. My definition, anyway. Well, we're still trying to get the perfect definition of retard sex. Yeah. We're, oh. getting, we're getting great ones on the instant feedback, but we just can't read them. No. So, uh, Cheese Man. Yeah, Cheese from Man Queens. from Queens. Um, I don't know what to tell you. You, you got to play when you can't. You got to get in there. Like, if midnight is the only time you can play, then what can I tell you? Yeah. Have fun. I'll see you out in the battlefield. Well, we were discussing this on the way in today. Um, what happened to the games that you just play and you, you could shoot through a bunch of levels in, a, in an hour? Oh, no. Uh, all these games that come out uh, nowadays, 
you're guaranteed if you're going to see it all the way to the end to, to play it for a couple months. Very complicated, Opie. Like you're on to a new game. Well, I was playing. I got to talk about this other one, too. Mm -hmm. Wargasm. I, I'm controlling an army. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm in a battlefield. I'm flying helicopters. I'm bombing things. I don't even know what I'm doing. I have not a clue. But it's great. I mean, I get to wipe out uh, thousands of people. And then uh, Gangster, I'm playing that, where I'm a, 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 a Don. I am a godfather. And I have to get these uh, lieutenants and cronies underneath them and try to extort money from the locals. I keep getting whacked within the first ten minutes. And so you're still just trying to figure out what that's all about. It used to be so easy with, like, you know, Mario Brothers. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> that was it. Now it takes you months to just figure this stuff out. Do you out. remember the noise when uh, you lost in Mario Brothers? Wait, wait, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, that was, uh, that was Pac-Man. Yeah. Right? No, that, was, that was Mario Brothers. Was, was it? I think so. I think it was. Hi, NEW. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's up? I was listening to to the show Opie and Anthony. Yeah. And my husband is the same way. He could wake up at six or six thirty, and he's he's on the computer. Uh oh. Causing at trouble. Night, before he goes to bed, he's on the computer. It's like I'm invisible. What is he doing on there? Anything online, online banking. Oh no, he's not banking. See, oh banking. Oh, he's not banking. See, that's dangerous. At least I'm playing the games. He's not banking. If if he's on the computer, well, I can't give that one away to the ladies. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right, is we we ought to do this one day. Is this computer right there? Yeah, it's not on though. He's uh, not here. Do you know how to turn it on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, turn it on. Go ahead. Okay. We're gonna go into the history file and oh, see where he's gonna... been. No, I can't do Come that. Come on. <laughs> You're a rat, Anthony. <laughs> Come on, this is always fun. You're a rat. Let's see what's in his history file. <laughs> Sucksluts.com. <laughs> yeah, that's no banking website. Yeah, banking. Oh, he's banking, all right. <laughs> all right, if you don't want to uh no, rat see. him out. All right. Well that's... Well, I don't know what to tell you either. I guess you got to give him hell like my wife gave me, and if uh, you got to smack him back to his senses. <laughs> so you have to, uh, you just have to get noticed and put on a sexy negligee or something. Well, right? I don't know if that'll work for you, but um, <laughs> it, you, you ought to give it a try. Yes. I'll, I'll, well, what are you I'll saying about, about this I'll lovely think lady? About Anthony? the Hummer Club. Well, that would be um, that would be a start. I know. Is I'm this Juliet Lewis from that movie, <laughs> The Other Sister? <laughs> Cut it out of it. <laughs> Poor lady's calling us with a problem, and look at you. Could you say something for me, honey? Yes. Could you say, I want a corn dog? I want a corn dog. Oh, no, she's... You know. All right, well, there was a little test, though. It right. sounded a little weird at first. Yeah, the Hummer thing could work. I know if I was getting a Hummer um, every night, I would never go on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, you would. I don't think so. Right after. After? <laughs> Probably yeah. in between. Like right when the Hummer's done, all you'd be thinking is, oh, I sure would like to get through that ne next level. Yeah, well, yeah, then I would, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Okay, thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. That guy, I'm sorry. I thought she had a little. That guy's not doing banking late at night while she's sleeping. Banking? No way. Yeah. I'm doing the banking, honey. Yes. Very important to do the banking. He has found some That's fine right. chat rooms. So, I'm 14, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> That's great. No. You, oh, wow. You're into field hockey. So am I. <laughs> yeah. You're a dirty girl. My teacher sucks, too. <laughs> Yeah. I'm doing the banking, dear. You, you stay in bed. You had to go the distance. Of Why? That. I thought we were all having fun. You could have just said, yeah, I'm in college, too. But no. No. I'm in fourth grade. Great. <laughs> That's cute. All right. We still got the Stephen Lynch song on the way that we promised you guys. And I think this uh, is the, the story of the day.
Anthony, the train from Jersey says it all. He says, guys, you are killing me. Don't give away the history file access. You'll ruin it for all online banking married men. <laughs> hey, all I'm saying, guys, is uh, clear your damn files out of there. If you're going to be visiting those sites, you, you damn well better clear your files. Your history, your cash, clear it out. Your temp folder. Anthony, you almost hung out a guy to dry when that lady just called. I gave him a reprieve, and he should be thankful and take that opportunity now to uh, dump his files. She wanted to um, know what the guy's doing late at night on the computer while she's sleeping, and uh, he's told her that you know he's doing banking on the computer late at night. And Anthony goes, "Why don't you check out her, you know, the history files of his computer?" And guys, go to like Windows.com and get yourself a good shredder program. <laughs> you dump all your files through there and delete them that way because just deleting them doesn't delete doesn't them. Doesn't do the job? No. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW. Screw the music. we got something to talk about here real fast. <laughs> it's Opie and Anthony, and you never know who's going to stop on by the studio. This beautiful woman decided wow. to come by uh, the NEW studios. <laughs> now, what's your name? Tara. Hi, Tara. Tara, th this is by far the cutest girl we've had in here so far. <laughs> like, like when we have girls that come in and they get naked or something, or, or they're they're in for something. Yeah. And and we're like, yeah, they're hot. Well, <laughs> Tara, they're usually not. But Tara, that's not saying much because we had like a skank crack whore that got naked and put, and, <laughs> and she oh, put. I heard about that. Yeah. And she beat me up. <laughs> and she put Christmas lights all over her body and then she beat up Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> And then we had a girl whose ass was so big that she had to walk through that door sideways. sideways. Well, my ass is not big. No. No, it's not there's, big. there's nothing big. Well, there's, well, there's one <laughs> thing big on you, too. <laughs> now, you called us up about 10 minutes ago, and we didn't think you were going to show up. Now, what's the deal? You've been in the city all day? Okay, I've been in the city all day. And um, what happened was, over this past weekend uh, at the Super Bowl, which, by the way, I also called you guys because I was going to... Uh, Oh, never mind. That's a different story. But anyway, all right, that's fine. <laughs> this weekend, uh -oh. um, this weekend, uh, my aunt, her uh, brother-in-law, just became the president of Playboy. So, like, you know, I, I had made composite cards up, like, over the course of, like, the summer, and I had everything going, and I was all psyched, and then I sent a bunch of letters out to modeling agencies, yeah. and they sent them all back. They're like, no, it's, you're, you know, you're not what we're looking for. You're not what we're looking for. And I'm like, what are they looking you know, for? What are you looking for, then, you know? And, I, and it pretty much is what they're looking for is a six foot, no chest, no butt, like, mm -hmm. Cologne, and then that's not what women look like. You yeah. know what I mean? And I mean, I think I'm, I think I'm all right. You know what I mean? I can hold my own. Well, yeah. I have no problem with Bravo. it. Bravo. Now, how tall are you? How tall are you? I'm five six and a half. Five six and a half. I'm okay. Thirty six C. Yes, I see that. Twenty six ways. Yes, I see that. Thirty four, uh, thirty four uh, hips. You know, yeah, I got nice boots. long legs. I like you know? that, yeah. I can sing, I can dance, I can practice, I can do anything you want. Blonde I have blonde hair. Blonde hair, you know. What color eyes? Um, brown. brown. Sometimes they turn green. That's okay. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> there you That's go. That's all right. And I don't know, I just figured I'd call you guys and ask if you could maybe help me out or, you know, just check me out. Well, I think we could have our own Victoria's Secret modeling show because I think a lot of people are having a tough time getting on. The Victoria's <laughs> Secret website. Yeah, they have their little website thing going on right now. Some kind of fashion yeah, show I and stuff. Yeah, heard about it. And uh, it's really hyped and everything. And it's hard to get on the site. We were trying. And I got on for a little while, but then, oh, yeah, oh, booted. oh forget about it. What we could do is we could take some digital pictures of you. And we can put it up on our website. And we can have the listener decide if you're worthy of becoming a model or not. Yeah. Good and, me. and maybe some of the model agencies are listening. And they could Hopefully. pop on the website and get a quick picture of you and see what you're all about. That'd be good. Are we just doing my face? What are we doing? Whatever you want to do. <laughs> I Believe me. No, knowing, myself. knowing us and our listeners, <laughs> they probably want to see more than your face. Okay. So why don't, why don't we take a listener and see what they want to say? Well, well you know, I already yeah. know what <laughs> want to see, so. We don't even have to go to the phones. I think we we could speak for the listeners at this okay. point. Right. I think we could cover all bases. We get a nice, you know, face shot, full body yeah. shot. Okay, well, since I've been around all day, I've been wearing this shirt. I'm, I don't have a bra on, yeah. but I do have underwear on. So if you want me to throw a bra on to do like a, uh, I'm gonna, mm, well, I, I guess not then, huh? No bra. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> well, now, you were looking to get into Playboy. Is that it? You well, wanted to? You know, it's, I, I really wanted to be in Playboy. I called about it, you know, like, like I said, over the summer. Right. I was real, like. Go did you send it. some shots over there, Tom? Um, well, what I did was, since my aunt 
her brother-in-law is the president of uh, Playboy. Um, yeah, yeah, that's I, an I know. I was like, she blew me out of the water, man. Like, all day, my wheels are going, the smoke's coming out of my ears. And uh, so what I did was I gave her a face shot of me. You know, just so she's like, just so he knows I'm not trying to pass a puppy on him, you know? Sure. And then, <laughs> and then she's like, you know, just give me your measurements and stuff. So I'm um, waiting to hear from her either today or tomorrow to see maybe if you could do something for me. If he can't, then I'll do it on my own. Yeah. Right on. But I'm aggravated because, you know, once I do get big and I want to have a good attitude about it, I'm not cocky. I just want to have a good attitude about it and say that, you know, when I do get up there, all these people that, like, gave me, like, you know, all the crap in the world, I just want to give them a big F you on your show. Huh? Yeah, there you go. That's, that's what Anthony and I do every day. There's a lot of people that, uh, you know, are trying to talk us out of our dreams, man. Yeah. So. No, all right. No. Well, we would be happy to take some shots of you, put it up on the web, and let the... Uh, People uh, speak, and believe me, I know what they're going to say. <laughs> yeah, not, not, I know. Now, Tara, Tara's 21. Uh, i got to warn you, the listeners can be a little brutal. Okay, that's all right. One girl that uh, okay. came down and did this a few months ago, she did leave crying. But she, she, wasn't, she wasn't as hot as she was. No. It can't be as bad as uh, Ralph the... Uh well, what, over on Howard? Uh, on Howard's show? Probably yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. He should talk, too. Yeah, you want to know bastard. what really aggravates me? Uh, I'm gonna t can I tell this story? Yeah. We I'd... went to the dysfunctional family picnic. Right. I don't know if it was over this, over this past summer. Yeah. And, like, they were all there. And, you know, he's so brutal. But, you know, I was standing by, like, um, like where the DJ, like, setup was. And um, he was checking me out. So, like, you know, I'm thinking, you know, maybe I should go and get evaluated and be like, you know, hey, it's don't talk idea. to me like that because you were, you know, you were checking me out. He was looking me up and down. A see, few we times. let the listeners do the evaluating see, that's good. on this see, show. That's really yeah, good. see, because I think they get a little out of touch over there. Yeah. You know? And they're really hard because. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the listeners, what's cool is you, you get a whole uh, cross-section. Yeah, cross-section of uh, a bunch of different guys yeah, out there. Yeah, that's cool. And you know what I mean? It's Like I said, I don't think what I think is what a man wants is a little meat. A little meat. Right. You know what I mean? So All right, screw the talking. We need to start right. uh, getting, right. getting some pictures. <laughs> now, now, Rick and Ben, you got to get the lighting just right for... Yeah, you got to. I think we can turn some really lights around. <laughs> All right. You can take the headphones off. Okay. Now, what do you want to start with? I, I think we need a, a, a very lovely face shot. A lovely face oh. shot. And who's taking my face shot? Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> wow. I like that. Yeah, Hair out of my face. Digital, digital camera. <laughs> okay, oh, Anthony is... Yeah. <laughs> smile, yeah. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, take another one. I got my nostril. <laughs> oh, let's go. Take another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You keep laughing just before he, he uh, takes the picture. That's correct. Okay, so I shouldn't laugh? Yeah, just All give right, a nice pause. Give me a sultry shot. There you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's really good. She gave, I got a tingle. I know you did. I was tingling. I saw that. <laughs> All right. Woo. Now we need a full body shot? Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's, Let's stand up. All right, move that chair out of there, Rick. All right. Wait, is the lighting right, do you think, Ed? Yeah, yeah. Let's stand right yeah, there. I know what I'm doing. Perfect. I like the whole idea. It, it's oh obvious you know God. what you're doing. <laughs> my my God. Okay, let me back up a little. Sorry. <laughs> Just, All right. I'm drooling. Let's go. Thinking about having retard yeah. sex right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just... Wow. We speak okay, our mind on this okay. show. Are we doing the sultry look? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, do the, the yeah, full body yeah, sultry look. Yeah, great one. Ooh, yeah. Turn on the air conditioning God. in the studio. Is that good? <laughs> wow. All right, how about a little of the... Uh, yeah, you want to turn around a little bit. Well, you want to pass the over the... Oh, yeah, penthouse pose. That's... Per oh, wow, nice butt. Holy... That means... <laughs> man, you almost cursed. Relax. I was like, holy jeez. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. Do you got enough uh, body shots, you think? Or? Of that? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> Unless you want to pose her in a different uh, fashion. Well, are we going to go for the full Monty now? A little... <laughs> We could have some of the guys leave if you want. But these guys are never around when we're doing boring political and radio. And ben, ben the fag doesn't care about girls. Yeah. I, I wouldn't worry about that. All right. All right, this is going to be for the Playboy shot. Yeah. The Playboy shot. Yes. Then we should lower the lighting. All right, all right fix the lighting for her. She's got to feel comfortable. Yeah. Okay, you know what else I need? What else do you need? Whatever you need. <laughs> you need water? Water. Oh. oh get oh, the girl some water, for God's sake. <laughs> Wow, she's good. Ben's Very right. good. Tracked hey, really I like that. Uh, ben, ben obviously isn't a fan because he was the first to get to the okay. water fountain. You know what, then actually... Yeah, huh? you can strip down while oh, we're yeah. waiting for the water. We won't mind whatsoever. Not at all. All right, Ben's got the water. Ben's got the water. Good boy, Ben. 
<laughs> Bend the fag, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, she's uh, taking all her clothes off. So taking we'll... the uh, the big boots off. That's good. I like those with the heel. Ooh, a little ankle tag. Oh God! Wow, twenty-one Tara, <laughs> beautiful. And who oh, wrote she oh smells good? Oh my God! <laughs> Would wow. you look at the ass on this girl? <laughs> All right, now, now, wait, just like that. How about that, uh, that uh, ass shot you gave us before? Well, th yeah, you, you need a couple pictures. Oh, well, well, now, 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 turn around, look at me. Yeah, one of those, one of those where you show your ass and you're looking around. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it oh, is. Oh my God, is that That's a good perfect. one? That's perfect. You guys, oh, wow. you guys are gonna love this. <laughs> this is good. This show. This is great. Okay, now a uh, front one with the sultry look. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW, Harvey Danger, and Flagpole Sida. It's Opie and Anthony and the lovely and talented Tara. Still in the studio. Anthony is attempting to put all the photographs he just took on the uh, the website. Very, very busy over here, Opie. I'm I'm hacking away. How many more minutes do you think you need? Because the instant feedback is going oh, nuts. Oh, wow, that's a good one. That's good. Yeah, that is a good picture. The guy's gonna like that one. I'm say. Yeah, come come take a look at this. Wait a minute. Can you flip that one? Right, no, hold on, hold on. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's that would be the best one right there. Wow, that's a hot picture. Wow. Oh, you see a little ankle tattoo in there too. Very cute. All right. Yeah. What do you need? Another ten minutes? You think? Well, this <laughs> might take me quite a while. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, g g just give me time. Don't worry. I'll get it up there. Because uh, these guys are just freaking. And a, I don't doubt it. And a few women are freaking. They're like, come on, where are the photographs? Really? I want to check them out. That. If you're just yeah. tuning in, Tara calls. She's been um, going to modeling agencies all day long. <clears throat> Right. And, yeah, I've been going, and and you've just been. Uh, well, so, you know, a lot of them are just saying you're not tall enough. You know, I mean, they're really not saying you're not pretty enough, but you know, tall it's, enough. it's uh. You well, know, you're five, you. five, six and a half. I'm five, six and a half. Um, you know, like I said, I'm 36 C, 26 waist, 34 hips. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, you know, I, I carry myself well. I think you know. Yeah, certainly do. Yeah, we didn't. I got a nice face. A uh, beautiful face. Thank you, Rachel Hunter. <laughs> totally. Ish. <laughs> not no, because you have oh, your own. back in her heyday. Back in her heyday, right? Maybe yeah. A little bit. I mean, she's, she's got, got the like. No, she the, looks like someone else though. She's a, she's, she looks like Ju Juliet Lewis's real hot sister. No, no, no. no. We'll let the really? listener decide when the pictures are up. I think she's got her own look. Very cute. Be nice. So this is the, so the deal is they <laughs> don't have a choice. Anthony took a bunch of pictures of her in all sorts of undress. Yeah. Full dress. <laughs> no dress. <laughs> And now uh, the listeners are going to tell you, you know, what they think of you. And they could be brutal. All right. I can't, I can't see them being that brutal, though. I swear to God. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be surprised if, they, if the comments come in, they're really bad. It's just, you know, guys just being a-holes, I think. You know what I mean? I'm not, you know, like, I'm not trying to say I'm perfect, but you know what I mean? Like, I can you see know, you. you work all that out. When you get into a studio, you do lighting, you do the makeup. You know what I mean? It, it all helps, you know? And... You know, not that I, What's your I mean, dream? To be in, like, Playboy, you think? I want to be in Playboy. That's definitely my dream. But, um, you know, I mean, I would like to, I what would about like like, to sing. What, ab like what if, like, act. Swank called or something? Swank. No, no I want to like be like, depicted like, as classy. No, okay, there's Playboy, there's Penthouse. Would you go for Penthouse? Um... I would, well, what do, what do the penthouse pets do? I, I mean, do they, like, touch themselves? Uh, <laughs> sometimes they're a bit provocative, yeah. yes. Uh, penthouse is just, like a, I said, I wouldn't, um, just a stage below Playboy. You wouldn't, yeah. you wouldn't go in Bigums or anything, right? No. Or Hustler or anything <laughs> yeah. like that. Bigums. No, no. Definitely Bigums. not. No. Definitely not. I, mean, I, I saw I one magazine. Hey, Big! It's my new issue of Bigums! <laughs> <laughs> no. I want, like, um... You wouldn't go into Floppers. No. Floppers? There like is a magazine called Floppers. There is. My brother like Quinn found it. Magazine. It was hysterical. One day we found it in the... I don't, you know, I don't want to be, like, I just want to do really Playboy. I could care less about the, you know, the other right. magazines, but I do, well, like... All right, then I guess the listeners have to look at your pictures and decide if you're Playboy material okay all right wow yeah there we go holy jesus palomino let me see that's a good shot yeah that is really good let me roll that one over uh, <laughs> and yeah. just get it all set it should be up and done and hopefully in the next 15 or 20 minutes he's he's cropping on yeah there. that's a good shot and, there huh and doing all sorts of stuff see this is the difference uh with our show anthony we share with the listeners right because it's one thing for us to just ogle and 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 just lose it looking at a girl after she takes her clothes off. But then we take the pictures and we put them on the website so all our faithful listeners can check out <laughs> what we just saw in the studio. Yeah. And that's how you'll keep them. That is the big difference here. Yeah. All right, we share. Yes, we do. <laughs> all right. Um, we promised a Stephen Lynch song today. We could do Who? That. 
I know. We can do that while Anthony continues <laughs> cropping the pictures. Our pal Stephen Lynch playing Caroline's tomorrow night, Rick. Tomorrow night, Stephen Lynch will be at Caroline's. All right, Anthony, the listeners are freaking out. How much um, How much more time do you need? What's that? I can't hold them back anymore on the instant feedback. I'm working on it. As fast as you can? As fast as I possibly can. All right, you'll have the photos of Tower up and running soon. Yes. 1027 WNEW, The Rock of New York with Everlast, What It's Like from Whitey Ford Sings the Blues. It's Ophie and Anthony, and hey. Tower's still in the studio. And you bastards have... Uh, Made this show come to a complete halt. I am so trying to <laughs> upload these pictures of Tara, but I can't even get on it to upload. I, I mean, you people are just pounding this site. Mm -hmm. We told you, please wait. <laughs> Guys, wait. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she wants her pictures on the website. Come on, you can just give them like five we, more minutes. Everybody well, get off. Honestly, we need just a couple hundred people right now to get off the NEW website. I think we could do it right now as we're on the air. Yeah. Someone's got to sacrifice right now. I'll sing live right now. Well, yeah. eventually we'll have Tara's pictures up. And I'm, I'm trying. I, you bastards are clogging. Oh, you're clogging so the. Uh, Won't system let me right in. now. You're clogging it. Sacrifice it for the the team, guys. Someone's got to sign off the website right now. Oh, let me see that picture. Yeah, let's take a look at the car. Hey, look at that. Take a look. It's in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's just taking a look at more of her pictures. That did, did you see the first one? Yeah, that's good. So oh, nice. All right. Well, let's, I'm trying. I know. I know you're trying it desperately. I know. We need our listeners to come through, but oh, well, it's giving me this thing like it wants to connect. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I might be, I might be onto something. You know, I, oh, connection failed. Thank you. Ah, too many people still on the the site. Get off. We're in a catch twenty two right now. <laughs> Someone's got to take it for the team and log off the it'll, website. It'll happen. It might happen like at midnight tonight. At this point, <laughs> but we want you guys to get you know to send in your comments yeah. after seeing the pictures, but. We only have an hour left in the show. Yeah, look at that. All right. Do you want to get to the story? I don't know. Yeah, look at this, huh? Well, it's the story of the day. <laughs> the story of the day. <laughs> it really is. Screw the impeachment hearings and all that crap. Who cares if Walter Payton needs a liver? This is, this is a good <laughs> news story right here. Uh, it was in Newsday. It was all over the news yesterday. Make room for daddy. Yoshiko, the chimpanzee, cradles her newborn daughter, Toshi. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> At the Los Angeles Zoo Monday. So this chimp has this uh, this baby. Uh, Yoshiko, but they call her Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi the chimp! Hey! Hey, Yoshi, a chimpanzee! Hey, eat! Oh. <laughs> well, Yoshi gave birth Sunday to this chimp, but... That was a surprise to everyone at the zoo because, you see, um, all the chimps at the zoo were uh, vasectomized. Yeah, they had vasectomies, and, uh, like, one of them was too old mm -hmm. and not interested in sex. Yeah. So they're trying to figure out who got uh, Yoshi the Chimp pregnant. <laughs> Yoshi the Chimp. <laughs> Yoshi the Chimp. Hey! <laughs> Yoshi the Chimp Man! <laughs> I ride my unicycle in the circus. <laughs> or... <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, can there be this crossbreeding, maybe? What do you mean by that species? Whoa, look who's coming through the door. All right, damn you all. Damn you. Okay. It was me. <laughs> Mr. Heston, it was you. I went into the zoo and... Had sex with Yoshi the chimpanzee. <laughs> Damn me to hell. I couldn't help it. After spending time on the planet of the apes, I grew accustomed to that red chimpanzee ass. Ah! You ever made love to a chimpanzee? Ah, uh, no, I can't uh, say I have. Nothing like it. Once you go chimp, you never go back. <laughs> That supple red ass, <laughs> yearning. I went to the zoo. Yoshi spun around and faced that red ass at me. It was yearning, calling me, as was the burning bush when I played Moses. <laughs> Saying, take this, thine red ass upon thee. Make love 
to my red chimpanzee ass. <laughs> I must admit, I ate monkey meat. <laughs> Damn me to hell. I ate monkey meat at the zoo. Now, Mr. Heston. Yes. Why would you be attracted to a chimpanzee when you had Nova? Nova. <laughs> Yes, she was quite a babe in that loincloth. But I, she just didn't have enough bodily hair. <laughs> when Zira seduced me in that little cave thing they lived in, and I did have a threesome with Zira and Cornelius, I admit it! I ate monkey meat! I tasted the forbidden fruit of the monkey's red ass! <laughs> I couldn't resist. I visited the zoo and saw Yoshi. Yeah. Little Yoshi. And that red ass. <laughs> My God, forgive me. Lord God, please forgive me for partaking in the forbidden meat of monkey. <laughs> Damn me to hell. Now, Mr. Heston, there's a lovely picture of your girlfriend in Newsday. Look at the cans on Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> That's the luckiest baby chimp I've ever seen. <laughs> Getting to snuggle against the bosom of that hairy ape. <laughs> Damn, I love that monkey. Yeah, all right. I'll be making more visits to more zoos. <laughs> there might be a population explosion of Charlton chimps. <laughs> a new breed, the Charlton chimp. That's right, it wears a toupee and has a red ass. Hey, is it true also that you were Caesar's father? Damn. <laughs> Damn, you found me out. <laughs> was... All right, from my sex ploits with Zira. Yeah, okay. It was me! Well, we got the explanation to uh, the chimp getting pregnant at the L.A. Zoo. Well, thank you, Mr. Hassan, it's great. I'm so embarrassed. Can you take your little cherry and get out of the studio? we got a show to do. Where's my music? Oh, you want... Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Of oh, course! Yeah! Play my music, damn you! All right, I'll play your music! Damn you to hell! Now get the hell out of here! When are you putting those pictures up on the website? <laughs> damn you! Damn you all to hell! And there he goes, everyone. Charlton Heston. Wow. So it was Chuck Heston that uh, fathered that, that that chimp baby. Yeah, that's what we're getting at there. Hi. An exclusive. N-E-W. Hey, yeah. What's up? Hey, Mr. Heston, once you go chimp, you never go limp. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what I hear. <laughs> he ran off in his chariot. What's up, man? Yeah, he just ran. He's uh, on a, on his horse, and he's galloping down the hallway. So. Oh, God, you're making my day. I'm trying, I'm trying to sit in here. I'm trying to do my, my little homework over here. Yeah. Oh god, I gotta, homework. I gotta keep on switching back for, back to you. I have homework. <laughs> what gradient? What? What gradient? I'm, I'm over. I'm, I got my, ba I got my bachelor's already. I'm, full, I'm going for my uh, teaching certification. All right, there you go. Cool. All right. Yeah. All right, thanks, man. All right. All right. Take care, bye. Right, later. All right. <laughs> More stupidity on the way. All right, Priceline.com. Is that what we got here? Yes, we do. Okay. Priceline. Oh, a service that indeed must have been sent. By God himself. God, thank you for Priceline. We love Priceline. Mr. Heston, I thought you left. I was leaving, but I had to come back and talk about Priceline. What a fabulous service this is. If only I had this on the planet of the apes, I could have gotten a hotel room instead of staying at Zira's and Cornelius's. <laughs> Do, do they even have hotels in Planet of the Apes? Yes, they're those big pottery-looking things. I see. Yes, but Priceline could have gotten me a cheaper rate. Yes, they could have. Yes. <laughs> you know what I had to pay for that room? How much? My friend's brain. <laughs> they cut out his brain. <laughs> Priceline, maybe he could have just had to spend a foot or yeah. a hand. Yeah. Not a whole brain. <laughs> you cut out his brain. <laughs> Damn baboon! Hey, Mr. Heston, were you yes. smoking some of the the wacky weed before before the show today? I have no comment on such things. Okay. That would defy the laws of God. <laughs> well, Priceline.com, we love these guys. Priceline. If you're looking for a hotel room in the near future, yes. looking to have some of that uh, retard sex, 
Or if you have some monkey meat. and Monkey meat. And you need a place. A free night at a hotel with Priceline to dine on monkey meat. Well, you get the free hotel room if you use their service. That's right, Mr. Heston. Uh, who wouldn't use this service? It's fabulous. And this is where you name your own price for a hotel room. And then Priceline matches that for you. I could take Nova. <laughs> she would love a night at a hotel. I could wash her up. She's getting a little gamey. Now, I was going to say that. Now, I mean, you haven't held up over the years. You're starting to look like a, a monkey at this point, Mr. Uh, Heston. God, I look like Dr. Zayas. You sure do. Look at me. Now, did Nova hold up? No, I ditched her. You did? Yes, yeah, she's getting a little old. <laughs> a little raggy around the edges. <laughs> I need some fresh monkey meat. All right, so if you're looking for a hotel room in the near future... Give our pals at Priceline.com a try. I think you'll be happy with their service. Priceline, a service sent from Lord God himself. 1027 WNEW, the Rock of New York. Black Crows from by your side. Ticking my heart around. And NEW presents the Crows at the Beacon on the 25th, 27th, and 28th of this month. We'll see you there. It's Opie and Anthony and the lovely Tara still hanging with us in the studio here. Hello. And, uh... <laughs> We gotta hand it to you guys out there in Radio Land. Yeah, yeah. I guess we just found out that we have a lot of lot of listeners to our radio show, Anthony. <laughs> I guess so. Because um, we're getting reports from um, the tech department here at NEW that um, Tara, you have pretty much crashed <laughs> our system here at Sorry. NEW. <laughs> he said it's a bigger problem. Like it, it could be like a, a northeast problem. <laughs> <laughs> like this totally. Everyone's going to be mad at us because they're not going to be able to get online yeah. because of us and Tara. <laughs> this totally, like, did something to the Internet. We set the Internet back, like, 20 years <laughs> because everyone wants to see Tara's pictures. <laughs> and the email's going nuts. There's, a, there's an email somewhere here from a precinct. It says, yeah. uh, the police department from the Bronx, and, and they say... Uh, Opie and Anthony, hurry up. Uh, the guys decide to stop fighting crime. They want to see what Tara looks like. So they're all, like, hunched around a computer hoping to see the pictures. Yeah. There you go. Now, if you're just yeah. tuning in, I guess we got to go back a little bit. Uh, Tara came into the city today, and she's uh, trying to become a model. Her, her legitimate pictures are really, really nice. And you're, you're beautiful in person. So Anthony and I took some pictures of you, and we wanted to put them on the NAW website because we like to share with our audience. Yes. When we see something really cool in the studio, it's one thing to sit in your car and, and wonder, what the heck are the jocks, you know, seeing? I want to see that. And, yeah. And most DJs don't give you that chance. We do. You know, that's why we wanted to put the pictures on the website so everyone else could take a peek. Yeah, we wanted to. And, uh, you know, then we were going to have the listeners comment if you were, like, Playboy material because you want to be in Playboy. Yes, I do. But everyone <laughs> freaked out, and and they uh, they 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 were trying to get on our NEW website, and pretty much the system is effed up. Yeah, something just like snapped, and uh, well, we can't get anything. Uh, hi, NEW. Hey, Obi, Joe Beck, Joe Big Butt, how you doing? Hey, Joe, what's up? I just tried to email you. I won't even go through. It's not recognizing the site. I know. I don't know what's going on. Listen, it's not fair. I get the biggest butt in the tri-state area, if not the world, to sit on my head. Yeah. And the whole world sees it, <laughs> and I can't see her in your studio, a beautiful woman. Oh, yeah. She's not gorgeous. Fair. Not fair. Yeah. What do we have to complain to Bobby? Keep trying. Now, now, Joe is the one that we had uh, Mendy from Big Butt Magazine sit on his face. Oh, so. God, that was disgusting. For what tickets? The Pearl Jam tickets? The Pearl Jam, 10th row. Yeah, the Pearl Jam tickets. Let, me, tickets let me just really uh, make you go wild here, Joe. <laughs> it would take... Ten of Tara to balance out a seesaw with Mendy. Wow. <laughs> I didn't see this girl. <laughs> no, I mean, Mendy's cool in her own right. She loves having a huge mama butt. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Joe, were you into Mendy's butt? Oh, uh, no, she was, <laughs> she was on top of me. No, not really, no. I had a lot of fun, though. Yeah. I did have a lot of fun. No, I'd much rather be there now. And Joe's been with us since the beginning. Absolutely. Thank you, Joe. Absolutely. You guys do <laughs> Yes, thank you, Keep Joe. Up, right? All right, Joe. Uh, we're, we're working on it. We're working it. on Thanks, it. Guys. Thank you. Yeah, so that's the deal. Simple so we, as that. Are we going to like do like a part two type thing? I guess we have to. They they completely screwed up the internet. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Yeah, I can't even get instant feedback. Nothing. Nothing's working. Nothing is working because uh, simple as this, something got crashed. Yeah. And Scott Colombo saying it's a bigger problem now, too. Yeah. <laughs> like wiped out the Northeast or something. <laughs> Jeez. Can you believe this? 
Well, right. Tara is beautiful. Thank um, you. I guess eventually the pictures will be on the WNEW website. Eventually. Yeah. Yes. But it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen before 7. I am so working here trying to do <laughs> I this. I know you are. I really am. It brought our show to a complete halt. <laughs> yeah. It really did. <laughs> we could take a couple more calls here. Hi, NEW. NEW. Hey, what, what's the deal, dude? <laughs> what's the deal? What happened? I, I think all the listeners pounded this uh, site so bad that a bunch of servers crashed. So that's it. Pretty well, much. It's not happening tonight. For right now. For right now. We're, trust me, we are trying to take care of you guys. You know? I, I don't think NEW is used to having uh, hundreds of thousands of hits on their NEW website. Yeah, yeah no doubt. You know, before ne before now, you went on the website to see an old picture of Scott Muni. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think they might have to update their, uh, their uh, I don't know, software and hardware and all sorts of wares. Underwear. <laughs> Underwear. <laughs> Whatever. All right, you guys keep it up, man. Uh, we are. All right, get it going. Well, you know, eventually you'll see Tara's pictures. That's all I can say. All right, is this going to happen today? Maybe tomorrow? If we knew, we'd tell you, man. All right. We are, we are freaking. We really want them up there, so. I do get to get feedback. All right, man, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, right. Tara wants your feedback, too, when you finally do <laughs> see the pictures, so make sure you send that in to us. It'll probably probably be for uh, tomorrow's show, and we'll have you on the phone. Okay. So you can hear what the listeners Sounds are saying. Good. Yeah. You guys will freak out. Hi, NEW. Uh, yo, I just called, uh... <laughs> I'm right here. What's up? Go. My internet thing? Yeah. They blamed it on you. Did they really? I swear to God. No way. Oh yeah, I think we caused some major, major <laughs> internet problems. I, I apologize to uh, everybody in the Northeast, but I think we just caused some major screw-ups here. <laughs> What's your provider? Uh, some little crappy thing in my town. And you called them up because you can't get online right now? I, I was on your site. Yeah. And it booted me off. Uh, I go back on. Yeah. And Yahoo and any other site doesn't let me on. Really? Oh, and they blamed it on us. And I, I wanted to see this girl. Well, you will eventually. Oh, yeah, we, we could guarantee. Tonight. We could guarantee that. Midnight tonight. Uh, most likely. I, I'll be checking back. All right, man. I'll call tomorrow to give the results. All right, thanks. You guys are great. Thank you. Later. Hi, NEW. Hello. Uh, hi, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey. I, I tried calling you guys in the beginning and always got through. I was the guy who said you grew on people like ear hair. Yeah. But, um, and now it's like impossible to get through. So I'm sure the internet's got to be going crazy. Yeah. But you mean to tell me hundreds of thousands of people never got through to see Scott Muni? Uh, no. <laughs> y you know, the counter on the NEW website before we got here was yeah. at uh, 328. <laughs> <laughs> 328 hits. There's just as many people are listening to the station he's on now at noon. <laughs> So they can hear some biscuits. Uh, I think that uh, the, the Scott Muni siesta is uh, quite enjoyable to listen to. Did you say the fiesta or the siesta? Siesta. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. All right, man. Bye-bye. Hi, NEW. Hello. Yeah. What's, what's I'm up? I'm connected on the Internet. Huh? I'm connected on the Internet. Are you on the NEW website? Yeah. And yeah. what are you getting? I got Anthony Opie's face. No, you don't want to see our face. No. You want to see Tara's face. You yeah, definitely well, don't want to see well, that. Put it on, man. I'm in. Uh, well, we're what trying. Do you, what do you think we're doing? Well, you get off. We can get well, off. <laughs> Opie's talking like crazy, and I'm barely even looking at him because I'm trying to get these on here. Anthony uh, just keep. Yeah, he's trying everything. Well, I'm not getting down. I'm waiting. All right. Uh, see, that's the, that's one of the problems we're having. There's so many people on the NEW website that Ant's having a tough tough time uploading yeah. their stuff. Oh, uh, you don't have it uploaded yet. I'm I'm having oh. trouble with <laughs> with you people. Hey, listen, I'm not going. I'm waiting to go home. I understand that. I can't go home to my wife. I got to see this first. That's what, what, a that's huge problem with the internet right now. <laughs> the funny thing is, Anthony is catching a lot of hell on the instant feedback that is coming through. One guy's like, w "What is uh, Anthony typing with? Boxing gloves? <laughs> Boxing gloves? Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> the other guy goes, hurry up. My wife gets home in 20 minutes. Right. i got to see the picture. Right, right. No, my wife could call me any minute now to say, come on home. Yeah. All right. Well, we're, we're doing the best we can. We're right. working Great on show, it. Great show, guys. Diligently. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right, man. Take care. Bye. Well, I don't know. Let's take a break and... Yeah, let's see what's uh, what's happening here because... Uh, uh, maybe a miracle will happen. Yeah, you never know. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW Collective sold their latest from Dosage. That is heavy. And we got another WNEW world premiere broadcast of uh, Collective Soul's new album, Dosage, tonight at 11 right here on your damn radio. And that's brought to you by Nissan Maxima.
It's opiates, Anthony and Tara decided to stick around for the last segment or two of our show. Mm -hmm. And Anthony, do you have good news for the faithful listeners of the Opie and Anthony show? Well, Opie, judging by uh, the instant feedback from Joe and Rockland, he says, thanks guys for the pics. She looks good. We got them up. <laughs> they are up. Finally, my God. It took an hour and a half. Now, this will probably crash the system when everyone tries to see them now, but at least they're there. Yes. <laughs> and Ooh. as long as Tara gives us the permission, we're going to keep them up for a few days. Is that cool? That's cool. No problem. All right. If you weren't listening earlier, Tara came in. She's been trying to become a model, and she's had a lot of doors uh, shut in her face because some say she's not tall enough. She's Her boobs are too big, blah, blah, blah. You get that? Your boobs are too big? Yeah, because they're looking not, for the, the yeah, waist. Yeah, looking for the rails, you know? They're looking for, like, 107 pounds, 6 foot tall. Oh, I'm not God. that, and I won't ever be that. No, That's it, not what women look like. And, and she wants to be in Playboy, so Anthony took some great photos, man. Yes, I was, uh... Like the, the photographer. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that felt good. She did real well. I was well. directing, and she was actually doing it. <laughs> yeah. So now the pictures right. are up for the listeners to decide if she's Playboy material. Oh, and look, I can't even get any instant feedback, so the service probably already crashed, but they're there. Yeah, there. Hi, N E W. Hello. Hi, what's up? Yo, man, I just gotta say two words. Yeah. Tara rocks. Yeah. Oh, you saw the pics. Oh man. Isn't yeah. she hot? Thank you. you. That one sultry picture you took of her, man. Which the one? sultry, yes, the sultry <laughs> shot. That was my idea. That killed me, man. <laughs> Isn't that good? Oh yeah. She's got a great face and a great bod. I I, I like her. All right, you guys rock on, man. Hey, thanks. All right, bye. bye. And uh, Opie Joe in Jersey wrote saying, retard sex, he has a definition. Yeah. What your audience is going through, waiting for the bunny to show her ears. <laughs> <laughs> and shake a leg. Well, I shook, and they're up. Hi, N-E-W. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tara. That little minx is smoking. Yeah, huh? Oh, man. You like that? Do I? Take some more pics. <laughs> Please. Give <laughs> <was> my number. <laughs> was, it, was it worth the wait? Oh, no doubt about that. Okay. Yeah, you got to love that. Thank Much you. worth the wait. See, on the Opie and Anthony uh, show, we share with our audience. Yeah, because I used to hate when I was growing up and I would listen to like DJs have naked women and stuff in the studio. Yeah. And you'd be like, man, they're not sharing with us. You know, mm -hmm. they describe it a little bit, but they just sit there and they, they lose it. And then you don't really, you know, you put a picture in your head, but you, you always wonder. Exactly. So we have brought this uh, technology to you guys. Who needs that Vicky Secrets uh, thing they're showing tonight? Vicky Secrets? <laughs> with that, whatever. Victoria's <laughs> Secret. We have our own little. Uh, yeah, who needs that? Fashion show going on. Hi, NEW. Yeah, this is Jim from Long Island. Yes, Jim. Yes. Let me tell you, Tara yeah. really is hot. Yeah, see? Yeah. It's yeah, so I, have a picture, I put a picture of my wallpaper on my computer. Every time it's going to come on, she's going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, man. I'm one of your listeners from BAB. Whatever happened, Repo Man and the Convict? Oh, my God. Espo, my buddy, he's uh, doing fine. Cool. Espo works at the uh, Burger King uh, in Huntington. You should get it back on the show. Yeah, we definitely will. Oh, that's okay. right. Opie's cute little show oh, he had on the I got to go, man. <laughs> <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> Right on. Did you get any instant feedback in? Because I can't get the instant feedback working. I'm well. trying to get it working, but man, it's just jammed up. Because we want to see what the listeners think of Tara. You know what it is, though? I think a lot of the people that can get through to the website aren't wasting time on the instant feedback, Opie. Well, I understand They're that. looking at the pictures of the lovely Tara. Hi, NEW. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm doing 100 miles an hour on the hutch right now, trying to get <laughs> home to see these damn pictures. Well, be careful. You don't want to cause any accidents. Well, but they're well about. worth it. Yeah, uh, you guys are the best. Hey, thanks, man. Take it easy. Don't get a speeding ticket. Nah, don't worry about it. All right. All right, thanks, guys. All right. Tara, you're a hit, man. If we have all the cops listening right now, don't give anyone a speeding ticket. Cause yeah, they're, they're just trying to get to their computer. That's all they're And remember to my face. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Hi, NEW. Anthony. Yeah. You're the man. All right. How's it going? I finally got him up there. And she is beautiful. Isn't she? She very, She's extremely beautiful. That's so great because a lot of times uh, girls come into the station, uh, a lot of DJs talk about them and talk them up, and um, somehow, some way, you see them. And uh, what what do they look like? Oh, she's beautiful. Well, sometimes they're oh, slobs. Oh, yeah. yeah, sometimes they end up to be uh, slobs. Thank you. But Tara, lovely. All the luck. Thank you very much. All the luck. <laughs> All right, you guys doing great. All right, thanks, man. Right, see you around. Take All it right, easy. Man. Say that. Sh sharing with our, our faithful audience, Opie. That's what it's all about. Hi, NEW. How you doing? All right, what's up? 
I just uh, wanted to say Tara's looking hot. Yeah, huh? <laughs> yep. Thank you. And, uh, is this uh, Opie and Anthony? Yeah. How you doing? Good, Pretty good. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, that Ralph is a total fag over there at uh, Howard Stern. <laughs> what <straight>. a fag. <laughs> yeah. He said there was anything wrong with her. No. <laughs> he's gay. He's gay the day is long. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Eddie W. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Uh, open into it there. Yeah. This is like making my day today. <laughs> <laughs> great. Thank Unbelievable. You. I needed this after a long day at work. Yeah. See, that's that's all we're trying to do. Oh, not sure all, let me tell you. Perk you oh, up thank after. You. Very nice. You thank like that you. part of it, right? <laughs> Excellent stuff here. Guys, right. keep it up. Hey, thanks, man. Take care. All right. Well, the reviews are coming in. Uh, you're a hit. Yeah, you're definitely a hit. Uh, I'm kind of surprised. I'm sure there's going to be... Uh, no, I'm reading the instant feedback, yeah. and uh, it's looking good. Yeah, oh, I'm glad. I don't know why don't you know? Man, is she hot? I'd like her to do a velvet tongue or the <laughs> I don't know how big it's going to get routine. I'm doing. <laughs> hey, here you go. Now you're going to get that. Does that disturb you at all? Like thinking that some of these guys, you never know what they're going to be doing in front of their computer. They're men. It's okay. I mean, you, see, you know, because if you stop you could, them, you could end you know? up being. Uh, you know, some kind of a, a screen target, Ooh. if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, that's what gay guys yeah, tend to do that. <laughs> Sometimes guys tend to do that on these uh, computers. I'm just being brutally honest. That's all right. Hey, it's all good, right? <laughs> yeah, why not? Where's the beaver shot? Oh, hey. my God. I, I'm just reading what's coming up here. I'm, I'm right. sorry. Right. I, you know, what the heck, man? Where's the beaver what? shot? It's, it's just our listeners. They're harmless. Playboy, not Pentax. Oh. Uh, <laughs> All right. Or maybe it's all shadow. <laughs> Do you keep yourself well trimmed and very, well groomed? Very, very well trimmed. Very OB. good. Hey, what's up? Hey, Yeah. Where's that guy on the hut? Well, uh, Should you... I pull him over now or later? Uh, <laughs> miles an hour? Hey, you leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> hey, the guy's all over the road. <laughs> <laughs> Go find a crackhead. <laughs> right. Listen, this is what I do for a living, all right? I understand. Well, you guys tell us slow down. Hey, listen, is she as hot as you say she is? Yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Without well, a doubt. You, she, if you got a computer... Uh, yeah, I think so. So tell her to go over to Howard tomorrow morning and see how she does over there. Oh, God. <laughs> Keep working, guys. Take care. All right, man. <laughs> yeah. We leave it to the listeners. Yes, we do. We, 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 we can't make those judgments, mm -mm. you know? Well, the listeners love you. <laughs> Absolutely love you. We can't even get more instant feedback. I know. Uh, everything's jamming up. Everything's jamming up. You're a rousing success. I think she deserves a, a big hand. Thank Bravo. You. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Wonderful. You. Right. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, any kind of a spread in uh, one of the magazines. I'll even autograph it for you and bring it in for you. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you guys anything. All right, Sarah. So those pictures will be up for a while? Oh, yeah. We could We could hang out some more, dude. Oh, really? Yeah, why not? Hey, great, why not? The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW. It's Opie and Anthony and Tara hanging in the studio. Yeah. Everybody checking out the pictures on the WNEW website of oh. the lovely Tara. Finally able to uh, get them online. Yeah. Yay. And uh, they're there. Tara came in and um, she let us take pictures. Some awesome shots. Yeah. And, and you get a bonus. There's a bonus in those pictures for the faithful listeners. Oh, there's a shot of Ben the Fag in the in the background of one of the pictures. Which picture? Uh, well, it's one. Of, I, I believe it's the sultry shot. <laughs> and he's in the background, and uh, he says he's not he's not gay. Right. He says he's completely straight. Yeah. And you look at him in that shot, and he's completely disinterested. <laughs> really? He's not even oh, looking. Wow. He's just kind of you know looking away or something. I I don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> now where is Ben? Ben, come on down the hall and, and take your abuse. <laughs> take your abuse like a fag. Like a fag. <laughs> Hi, Eddie W. Hey, it's uh, me. All right. Those, those pictures of Tara? Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. You, what? How did... What? What? what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how we felt. I, I, I uh, mean, taking I them. I for words, man. Speechless. Thank you. you no, know what's cool about it? It's, um... She's natural. Yeah. She's natural. You know what I mean? Definitely. She's just got it going on, and it's... it's, it's what most women look like, you know? No, no. no. <laughs> oh, hey, Trust hey, me. Hey, hey, hey. Trust me. Hey, it is not what most women should, look like. they should look you like. You're going to put some more, some more pictures up there? <laughs> look at you. 
<laughs> well, I'm just saying, it's like what you say what most women look like. Well, it's what most women should look like, definitely. You know, I mean, yeah, plastic's all right, but it only goes so far. No, I'm talking about like the the, the big fat pigs that are walking around, you know, because yeah. they tur- they turn around a lot of times and go. This is natural, and this is what a woman's supposed to look like. It's like, no, now you're taking it to an Just extreme. Just a little too far. Yeah, yeah, a little too far. Hey, black girl. What do you think? I haven't seen him yet. Yeah, she's right in front of you. Oh, she's lovely. You haven't seen her? <laughs> oh, she's, she's lovely. She's lovely. She's gorgeous. Thank Stunning. you. Thank you. <sighs> Where's Ben? Ben Ben is... Ben left. <laughs> Ben laughed. Ben laughed. There's ben a hot girl laugh. in the studio. <laughs> ben goes ben home. <laughs> there's this figure. There's sales guys that, that are still hanging around. They usually go home at 3.15 and they're still here. And Ben left oh, and went home. Oh, that's great. Oh. All right, Earl, go over there. Ann's got the pictures right up over. Or do you, Ann, or no? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll pop them right up. Right, you can you take a quick look. There. We'll get the, uh, we'll get we'll get the Earl, uh, the official Earl opinion. Look, very nice uh, face shot there. <laughs> a nice sitting shot. Your calling is to be a photographer. Oh, uh, well, maybe. <laughs> look at that. Here's the sultry shot. Look at that. And, and look ben. at look at Ben the fag, <laughs> who I believe looking at this is looking at me taking the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Ben. <laughs> oh my God. Then we have. Ooh, look at that, huh? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Now we're getting down to the uh, pant list. Mm-hmm. Very essential. Got the panties on, and she's got the the little uh, uh, like tank top thing, but it's got little spaghetti straps on it. Yes. And then she's pulling it up, exposing her oh, belly, man. and her panties, pink mm-hmm. panties. Uh, yes, they are. Yes. yes. There. Now she's pulling the top down a little bit, <laughs> just exposing cleavage. This is a recap. Yeah, yeah. And uh, still, of well, course, this is for our, pants our blind listener. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing that thing like those people were doing at the Super Bowl when they were singing the national anthem. And she was having a convulsion at the bottom of the screen for the deaf. See, I'm doing this for the blind. <laughs> This is so the blind at home could spank it, too. <laughs> this is like uh, braille smut. All right? <laughs> Pulling it down. Then we have the shirt completely off, but she's still holding it, you know? Kind of toying with you. Getting ready to throw it. I might put it back on, and I might not. <laughs> you don't know. And then we go down to the bottom, and of course, she she threw the shirt away. There you go. And uh, the yeah, you see a little anklet uh, tattoo. Just for you, Anthony. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. So, Earl, what do you think Full about breast? Oh. And don't say lovely. Come up with something better than lovely. I'm speechless. <laughs> totally speechless. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. I I, I gotta <laughs> say. Hi, N E W. Hey, how are you? Hey, what's up? Dude, what the hell is Ben the fag thinking? <laughs> is his ankle? Do you, do you see in the picture? He's looking at me taking the picture. Oh, oh man, I'm not a guy for internet porn, but damn, Tara. Thank you. Very Thanks, nice. Guys. I you really did, appreciate it. great work. You gotta keep that up for like all of eternity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look at this guy. We just made his day. <laughs> Hell, you made my week. <laughs> my year. Tara, right, you wanna go out sometime? <laughs> all right, man. All right. Bye. Bye. Don't let your mom catch you. Yeah. People. Yeah, really. <laughs> all right, listen. <laughs> Flavio, this guy's hysterical. I had to rush through dinner to get back to my computer. I told my wife I had to do some online banking. <laughs> Thanks for the pictures. She's great. Yeah, online banking. He's going to be making a deposit. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, well, Tara, you were a huge success. I haven't, seen one, I haven't seen one bad no. instant feedback, to be totally honest with you. You had to know it, you know? And why don't other people see that? You know, the ones in the suits and the ties that make the decision. You know? We were pretty... Uh, I don't know. But I think you guys are great, and I'm really glad you let me come on and do this. No problem. It really means a lot to me. I'm going to leave here crying because I'm so happy. Well, you're welcome back at any time, <laughs> well, believe you're me. You're welcome to call me. I'll be so happy a, to oblige. you need a shoulder to cry on? or? <laughs> <laughs> God, and you got a sexy voice, too, by the way. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you got a good I radio do. voice. Sure. Really? Sure. Yeah. I thought you had to sound like a man to be on the radio if you're a woman. No. no, I do. Every no. time I hear a woman on the radio, you want to know the, the, only the, the chicks that bend the fag day. <laughs> <laughs> they sound like men. You, know, you want to know the truth? Every girl that sounds hot on the radio uh-huh. is a mess. Yeah, an absolute mess. Mm-hmm. Mess. <laughs> That's usually the case. So I got like a package deal going on here, right? There you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Thanks, guys. Hi, N E W. 
Hey, how you doing? All right, man. I definitely give Tara my vote. Yeah. Yeah, she definitely gets the vote. As you guys are going through the recap, yeah, yeah. I'm sitting here going through the pictures. I still have them on the browser. You, you were playing along at home. Oh, yes, I was. Look definitely. at the fun. Look at the fun you're having. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> I, I was kind enough to sign off and just keep the pictures on my browser. Oh, that's so that nice everybody of Everybody else can get a nice view. Save, of course. Save, save the guy. page and yeah. uh, sign off. we got to share the wealth. Yeah. What's your favorite picture? Uh, let's see. Um... The pose with her picking up her shirt, yeah. you know, ever so much right. to expose her panties. Oh yeah, is definitely a yeah. very sexy picture. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Let me let me get to that one now. Let me. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. With the hair is kind of in front of one eye. Yeah, and she's looking down. <laughs> yeah. with yeah. that teasing look. That seductive look. Yes. Oh. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Ooh, you're, you're a dirty girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then the one next to it, right before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Very nice. She's pulling down, she's pulling down the spaghetti straps. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. They're all. But she definitely, she has a beautiful smile. Thank you. Of course. Very nice face too. Beautiful on top smile. of it. We mm -hmm. were surprised uh, when she came in. Hey. Well, well, we were. Well, <laughs> believe me, Wait, you should yeah, see yeah, uh, yeah. sometimes what comes in here. Yeah, when yeah. women call and say, "Hey, I want to like you know come up and do something for you guys," we're like, "Oh, great! What does this, what like this dogs, mess right? look like?" <laughs> yeah, and then we got to make believe on the radio that she's hot. It's just a, it's just a whole mess. <laughs> yeah, on on page one. Now go back to page okay, one. Okay, I'm on page one now. Okay, now uh, you see the first picture. First picture with uh, someone in the background. That's Ben the fag. That's Ben the fag. No, no. That's producer Rick. Oh, that's Rick. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Now, is yeah, he doesn't, he's not looking at her. He's looking at you. He's looking at me taking the picture. Yes. What a fag. Isn't that great? We're glad you enjoy the pictures. Yes. It's, uh, you were, uh, on my ride home, you were actually saying uh, something about the full Monty. So I wonder if there was going to be a part two. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. oh. We're going to have to talk to her manager. We'll have to see. <laughs> they want to call me back. And you're missing one shot. What shot? Right. One shot. We thought we had she a has a very seductive look, mm -hmm. but no, uh, if you go back to, what is it, like picture uh, four on the second page? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me click up uh, the second page. Second page. All right, now let me go to no. picture four. Second page, first picture. She still has her clothes on. Yeah. Okay. You need a picture like that with no clothes on. There's no picture of a rear. Well, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. No, you know something? I have one. I just didn't post oh, yeah. that yet. Yeah. Oh, he's I keeping them from himself. <laughs> yes, I'm keeping that for my home collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I have a couple of other ones. Uh, I guess I, I could post also, but um, I didn't put them all up yet. Oh, okay. So you're yeah. going to be posting them uh, later at a later date? This is like Naked Hanukkah. You have to wait a couple of, you know, throw out. A couple of days. <laughs> you get one present every day. Of course. Yes. <laughs> All right, man. Okay, take care. Good talking to you. All right, take it easy. Bye bye. These are too good. Hi, what NEW. Fun. Hi. Hi, what's up? You have been holding? Yeah, no, you're on the air live. What's up? What's up? Oh, hey, guys. Hey. How you doing? Uh, yeah, listen, there's, there's a you delay. Know. Turn your radio oh, okay. down. With all due respect. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, she's a really cute girl. Uh oh. Tara, no offense, but. Uh oh. You're not. You're not you're not Playboy material. Why do you say that? Give me a reason. She's really cute. Give me a reason. You guys there? Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, she's a really cute girl, but I mean, the thing is this. Uh, I must be crazy or something here. I'm, I'm engaged. I'm not a fag or anything like that, but, you know, 36C, all right, I'd buy that, but they're little, you know, those are not, those are not 21 year old breasts. What? What, 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 are you, what are you talking about? What are you... I mean, from the pictures I'm seeing, they're a little low. If she's going to be in Playboy, she needs implants, the bottom line. Oh, my God. I mean, no, I'm serious. She's a cute girl, beautiful face, yeah. very nice, but uh, I implants. Think Playboy, no, swank, yes. Well, w wow. <laughs> Playboy, no, swank, <laughs> yes. That was, that was real necessary. Thanks a lot. Well, I'm not being honest. You know what? There, there's a difference between being honest and being rude, and you could have just said that maybe implants would have been better and not swank. 
Don't you think? Wow. Don't you think? Come on, it's the show. It's the part of the show. This guy's using our excuse. You can't use our excuse, dude. Come on. That's our out. Guys, you're being very nice to it all. But I mean, I'll say a very cute girl. When I look at her in the street, absolutely. But if she play, but come on, you open a Playboy up, you're spending what, three fifty, whatever, four bucks? You could be a little disappointed. You know, uh, you give me get... a break. Why don't you give me a break? I mean, I'm standing here in like, you know, I don't have a, you know, much makeup on. I'm not like the perfect lighting. I'm sure if you know. Tara, you don't have to help. defend yourself. <laughs> don't worry. Listen, listen, this is justified for round two. Then Goodbye. some guys are into right. the, uh, some guys are into that yeah, plastic, plastic look where it's just the big implants and the, uh, you know, that, that whole know plastic. His fiance thing. looks. Like... Hi, N-E-W. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, what's up? What's the website? Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Jesus. You're oh like an hour God. behind everyone. Oh. WNEW.com. Please? Click on the Opie and Anthony pictures and you'll go from there. No, no, no. The, the main site, though. Oh. WNEW.com. That's it? Yeah. Giddy up. All right. This guy's the guy that walked into the room to take the test with his pencil when everyone said, Pencil's down. Right. It's over. It's over. Hi, NEW. I am completely against the plastic look. I think this girl's beautiful. She has the most beautiful eyes. I think the plastic look is fake. Yeah. Well, you, that's all I have to say. You could see that in all the ads in the back of the magazines, yeah, all the fake like stuff, you know. Yeah, he in the end. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm only doing it for the show. Well, if you have an idea, then have the idea. But personally, I think she looks beautiful. Yeah. Her eyes are, like, beautiful. Without a doubt. All right. Thank you. All right, man. Later. There you go. So you feel better now, Tara? Man, they're on your side. Hi, NEW. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. Yo, you guys know you have the most brutal listening audience around. Oh, yeah. We know that. Everybody. Don't get disheartened by that one, like, porno connoisseur. Like, that guy <laughs> knows what he's talking about. Like, well, you know, the woman, you know, I mean, forget about it. You look great. I mean, no, he doesn't know what he's talking about. The plastic look is old. Thank it's you. Old. You're the real deal. I mean, I mean, listen, you saw what they did to that Bronco. These people can be brutal, man. Yeah. So if they're all saying great things, don't get this hard. You're great. It's kind of it's kind of strange, though. That's why we love our listeners for being brutally honest. But you know what? You guys are brutal yourselves. So. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> oh, and we take some hard hits on ourselves. Oh, man. Man. One big, happy, brutal family. There you go. <laughs> One big, Good dysfunctional luck, family. Yeah. Yeah. Good family. Luck to you, Thank you. Hi, N E W. I I want to get, you know move on here, but the callers are just going nuts. Hi, N E W. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I uh, I saw the pictures on the web. Yeah. Yeah, she she looks great. Is that a, is that a wedding ring she's wearing? Yes, it is. Oh, oh yeah. Really? Oh, there go half my listeners. Oh man, I'm sorry to expose you on the air or something, but I I kind of killed the entire half the rest of my day waiting for those pictures to come up. No, that's oh. fine. <laughs> you can hey, I'm day. just hey, I'm trying to be you know, I'm high still... candy, okay? Sorry, right. you still look great. You thank you, great. thank you. I figured we had to send in an, an Alfie for uh, you to get those pictures on the web sooner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, we we got them up. That's all, all right. right, though. All right, man. Keep up the good work. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. Later. Bye. I mean, the phones are nuts. We could just answer for the I next know. hour. But of course, we have to move on to uh, other things here at NEW. Open. What could possibly beat this? Well, you never know. What? I don't, I don't know. Maybe there's something planned uh, b between 7 and midnight or whatever, and then and it's huge, and it's just... You mean we got a new DJ? <laughs> what? I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, all right. I, I doubt it. I but was just confused, that's all. You just never know. Maybe something... Hi, any w Is it Yeah. Hey, Tom, be sure. Hey, Tom. Tom, what's hey, up, Hey, how man? are you? Listen... What do us idiots that are still living in the dark ages do that don't have a computer? Uh, oh. you, got, you got to find a friend. Oh, man. You got to find a friend. This, this is, is a, not, this is the this best, not fair. This is the best we could do for you guys right no now. No computer. Well, I take your word for it because, you know, I met you I know you. Then she's got to be good. Sell that but, big uh, screen TV we gave you and uh, buy a computer. <laughs> I, can you guys, like, transmit them through the TV? <laughs> <laughs> web TV, baby. Yeah, web TV. All right. Oh, man. All right, All right man. take it easy. Bye. Later, man. Bye. Hi, NEW. NEW. Yeah, hi, um... Who comes on after you, after Opie and Anthony? I, I don't know her name. Who comes on? Is there, is there a um, uh, another we, uh, we, DJ afterward? Well, we've had a memo that says that we're not allowed to mention uh, 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 the next DJ's name. We're not allowed. Oh. It's in the memo. Oh, okay. So we uh, just uh, run... Because you guys are being really brutal to whoever it is. <laughs> to who? I don't think so. Uh, no, she oh. de she deserves every bit of it. <laughs> oh no! Here we go. Oh, here we go. We almost had we almost had gotten through two or three days 
without an issue. Oh, uh, no way. Without an event no. taking place. The crap I'm hearing, trust me, it will come out. All right, man. All right. <laughs> thanks a lot, guys. You guys are good. Hey, thanks. All right, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Screw her. Oh, we almost made it. Now I'm in a bad mood. Let's get out of here. You're you're <laughs> you're not uh, uh, heeding the memo, Opie. What memo? <laughs> I don't know. I threw Was it away. Was it CC to me? I don't I remember did. getting a memo. <laughs> I threw it away, too. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to thank Tara for coming by. Thank the lovely you. Tara. Thank you for coming in. Thank uh, you. Good luck in any of your uh, naked endeavors. Okay. And your clothed ones. Yes. <laughs> but I'll be paying attention to the naked ones. Okay. Yes. And don't, and don't let that guy get you down. There's hundreds upon hundreds of uh, great emails from I our told listeners. I there'd be one. All right. Well, there's always one or two. Yeah, there's got to you know? be. And you should consider legitimate modeling, too, because you have yeah. a beautiful face. Oh, I definitely want to. Definitely. Right. I, wanna, I told you I want to act. You don't have to necessarily just do Playboy. You got no, to, you no. Gotta look, that's just a, you gotta look just there. a fantasy. You know what I mean? All right.